With the adoption of robotics growing in Singapore, more children are also growing the talent they need to build and program them as well. But those taking classes are also younger. Michelle Teo delves into the brewing controversy over teaching young children to code. What are we going to do? We are going to create a list. These primary one children may be glued to their screens, but they're not playing games. They're here every week to attend after-school coding classes. By just dragging and dropping icons, they're learning basic principles on how to put things into sequences. It's hoped that this will translate into programming skills they'll need to code instructions for robots in the future. Other than Many parents as well are very um, interested to send their kids at a young age because they've heard about the compulsory coding for ages 10 to 12, right? So they're sending their kids to us to prepare for this compulsory coding. Coding is a compulsory subject for upper primary students, but some preschools like Kinderland are adding it to their syllabus. It's seen interest in coding quadruple after they made it a part of their curriculum. These four-year-olds are using screen-free tools like this robotic mouse to develop their logical thinking. First, they arrange these cards to create a path. Then they program the mouse to navigate the path using directional buttons on its back. This activity aims to expose them to the world of robots, teaching them how to code as well as problem solve. In this digital age, um, through the coding classes, our children learn computational thinking skills, directional vocabulary, uh, co configure their own setup, as well as uh, programming co coding sequences. Researchers say parents can play a big role to help their kids pick up these skills. For example, using worksheets and kinetic activities to help them understand the concept of algorithms. Pay attention while I go through some dance movements and then look for patterns as I am going through them. When children learn coding, you want them to learn how to, for example, look at a problem, uh, approach it logically, decompose it into small parts, uh, provide a sequence of instructions, recognize patterns. In the end, uh, coding may not be for everyone. So, but it's good to start off children with some awareness of uh, the big concepts in computer science, create some awareness of the way computers work. As the world evolves into one dominated by artificial intelligence and robots, programming is becoming an essential skill. And as Singapore forges ahead with its smart nation goals, it may be that you're never too old or too young to learn coding.